take a minute, look at this, and then take another minute. I'm giving you two and do this on your own pen and paper. Oh, do this on your own paper with your own pen. We have y multiplied by brackets, negative three multiplied by y minus y multiplied by negative two multiplied by y plus y squared. Let's have a look at this. And then you try it yourself on your own paper, guys. Maths is not something we study. Math is something we practice. We don't study maths like we study for geography or history or any of those subjects. We simply practice maths, guys. And this hour that you have here with me tonight is the perfect opportunity for you to practice something that's probably new to most of you. Okay, your two minutes have started. We have a bit more than a minute left, and then I will be I will be um, showing the answer on the screen and going through this with you step by step. Okay, teach you, Linda, I still see in the chat the questions coming in about students that can't see the screen. I just want to confirm that you will let me know if ever I need to uh, disconnect and reconnect my screen. The rest you will sort out, please. I'll try to have a method to see if it works. So everyone who can hear me, oh, okay, Jumba is sorted now. So you guys, okay. the first option is to log out and in again. And then the second option is the one that I've just highlighted there. If these two options don't work, you let me know privately and I will let teacher Hugo know so he, he can um, unshare and share again his screen. Okay. Yeah, but that's exactly what I'll do. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Fatima, teacher Sam asked me kindly to help out with you guys today because she wanted me to get to know you all. So if you don't mind, Fatima, it's me tonight, me and you for an hour, me and all of you. Okay, I hope we've all tried this little warm-up question. I will be running through this now. If you are still busy, don't stress. Pause wherever you are and then go through this with me from the top and you can continue as I continue. All right. First, we're going to get rid of our brackets. We have this bracket that we can get rid of. Y multiplied by the bracket. Then we will find negative 3Y. <coughs> multiplied by another Y. I'm doing this slowly. I'm taking baby steps. I hope you guys don't mind. It's just so that all of you can follow. Now, as you might have learned before, Positives and negatives divide terms. So whenever there's a multiplier or a divide, it's still the same term. But when we stuck with positives and negatives, we know that they divide terms. So this negative is going to stay here. And then we stuck with another bracket that we have to get rid of. The answer for this bracket is going to be negative 2y.
multiplied by y again plus y squared. Now, next step, we're going to simplify even further. We have a uh, negative 3y multiplied by another y. That's going to give us in the chat. What's that going to give us? Let's see in the chat who can tell us. We're just looking at this negative 3y multiplied by y. There we go. Chipo gave me the correct answer. It's going to give us... negative three y squared then this negative remains no it does not sorry we have to get it out we have to get this negative out let me highlight in different colors we're going to get the brackets out so we're going to multiply those two negatives and then we're going to multiply this y in simultaneously. How are we going to do that? Negative multiplied by negative gives us a, put it in the chat, a negative multiplied by negative gives us a positive. Good. So we'll have a positive. The two is going to remain the same because nothing is there to multiply or there's nothing there to multiply with the two so my two is remaining the same my y on the other hand does have a friend that now comes with it so we multiply the y and the y good christian and then we get y squared now we took care of that unnecessary negatives and the extra y is now with this term to give us a y squared then we're still left with the positive or plus y squared. Next step. We need to group like terms together. My friends, there's nothing to group. These terms are all already the same. So you can move them around however you want, but they're all going to stay the same. We're going to add and subtract them all from each other anyway. We're going to start with negative 3y squared plus 2y. That's going to give us negative 1y squared plus y squared. Remember, if your coefficient is 1, it doesn't have to be shown, guys. And if nothing is ever shown, if you come across something, an unknown value, and the coefficient is not shown, then it's always presumed to be 1. We have a negative y squared plus y squared. That gives us zero as the answer to our first question. Let's see some hands. Anybody that's unsure about anything that I did here. Thanks, Jason. I'm glad that you got the right answer with me. Okay. Let's see. Motebang. Motebang, I'm asking to unmute you. Here we go. How are you, Motibang? I'm glad. Tell me, what's your question? So, do we have to multiply first and then we add a subtract? Yes. So, let me write this for you. I'm sure it's something that you have all heard of before. I want to remind you about this tonight what did i write there downwards motebang bodmas are you familiar with bodmas yes sir good so let me remind you all b is for brackets o is for order, that's anything to the power of something. Then we divide, we multiply, we add, and we subtract. 
That's the order in which we do things when we're trying to simplify an equation. Now, we start with the brackets here on top and we work our way down. We finish with addition and subtraction. That's why, if you all noted carefully, I got rid of all my brackets first. These brackets, I got out. Then I was stuck with another bracket. I got it out. I got all my brackets out. Then I multiplied whatever I could multiply. Yeah, I did my multiplication, multiplication. Now I'm doing my addition and subtraction. That's the final step. Okay. All right. No further questions. Motebang. Motebang, no, do you understand now? No, sir. Good. I'm very happy that you understand. Let's have a look at the next one. If there's no further questions, I am scrolling down. So this one is a bit more complex. It might look so, might appear to be so because of all these other brackets in there. But don't stress, same rules apply, bod mass. Take two minutes, guys. And try this one yourself. Remember, this is the perfect opportunity for you to practice maths. And practice is the only way we get better. We have 3x bracket x squared minus 1. Close the bracket. Another term minus 4x squared bracket 6 minus x. Right. Take your two minutes, guys, and let's start. You guys are doing really well. Well done, my pibs. A minute to go, guys. Minute to go. Kelebu, how are you doing? Are you trying this yourself? I hope you are. Guys, if you can, let's switch on the videos. I love to see all the faces. On my side, I got hit by a load shedding. So it's oh, all goodness. Dangerous yeah thanks guys for putting turning all the cameras on i'm so happy to see all these pretty math faces i hope you guys are trying these um sums yourself as well and not just waiting for me to give the answer by the way i was reminded in the previous class if you don't mind me just scrolling up a second you are more than welcome to take screenshots at any moment so there's a screenshot of the orange. You can take a screenshot here and then you have the orange, the steps to remind you of and take a screenshot of that sum completed for you with the correct answer. All right, scrolling down again. Okay, I think it's time for us to try B. Okay, it's fine. Let's do this one in blue. So, first of all, I'm going to highlight for you. We have this 3x directly adjacent to a bracket. That means we have to multiply this with both terms inside of the bracket. We will multiply it with the first term and then the second term. If we multiply 3x with x squared, let's have this in the chat. In the chat, guys, 3x with x squared, what will we get? The answer for our first term. 3x cubed, well done. We're going to get 3x cubed. 
Now we have to multiply with the next term. The one is not going to change anything. My X is going to remain the same. What we have to remember is that this little sign is going to go with my term. That means the sign of my term is going to change. It's going to be negative 3X. Let's have a look at what we have next. This minus, I'm going to leave here. We work with one situation at a time. We can't have too many situations. But because I leave that there, thanks again, teacher Yolanda, <laughs> I'm going to put my brackets in. And then I sort out 4x. Once again, I'm going to highlight for you. This 4x is directly adjacent to the brackets. That means we will multiply with the first term and then with the second term. What we will get is four, no, four times, sorry, four times six is going to give us Oh, I'm getting so many stuff going on in the chat. There we go. Thank you. Iwandle. It's going to give me 24. Let's just take this one step at a time. My x squared is not changing. And now my x squared is going to change. Negative 4x. Remember, if we have already x squared multiplied with another x, yes, 4x cubed. Now, we just need to run through this again and get rid of this negative that I so silly left us there or left there for us. Why am I changing colors the whole time? Uh, let me just get my color situation right. Let's stick to the blue rather. I'm going to leave my 3x squared minus, ach, not squared, goodness, it's cubed. minus 3x, then this is going to be negative 24x squared. And now we have a negative multiplied by a negative. That's going to give us again a positive 4x cubed. Now we can add like terms. If you want to, you can put, your, you can put a, another group in there for you. So that you can, um, uh, sorry, another step in so that you can regroup the terms also. If you feel like you need to, I'm just going to highlight them for you. I have my cubes, a 3x cube and a 4x cube. I have my normal x. And I have my, oh, goodness, it's supposed to be a different color. There we go. And I have my normal X. Now we can't add the pink and the yellow and the green. We can't just add them all diamakar together. We will be adding only the like terms. That's going to give us three, um, the three X cubed plus the four X cubed. It's going to give us a seven X cubed.
minus 3x minus 24x squared. That's my final answer. I can't add anything or subtract anything more because the other terms are unlike. I will be taking questions. Let's see. Zandile. Is there any, what is unclear to you about this question? There should be a notification. There we go. Zandile, how are you? I'm good, and how are you? I'm good, I can't, thank you. I can't see what you're teaching. I just got in the in the um, teaching, in the session. Okay, okay so you can't because see the screen. Of the yes. Okay, please um, direct your question you in the me. chat to teacher Yulenda, okay? If I see yes. your question on the chat, I'll, I'll help you. Okay, let's see. Luban, Lubanzi, Lubanzi. Hi, Lubanzi, how are you? Fine, thanks, and you, sir. I'm excellent, thank you. Lubanzi, how can I help you? So how did you get the negative that is before the brackets or the minus? Are you talking about this negative um, that I highlighted yellow? Yes. Okay, so that negative just goes with this term here okay and then my first step when i got this 24x squared i just multiplied only the 4x squared with the two in the brackets and i left my negative there Oh, okay. But when I finished multiplying in the 4x squared, I still had to do the negative separately. So maybe you could have done them all together. And yes, you could have, but I just uh, kept them separate so that we don't get confused tonight about where my signs are going. Okay. So that's okay, where this negative so. comes from. It's, it was there. I just left it there and I'm doing it separate. So that way it comes. That's where it comes from. Understood? Yes, sir. Cool. Okay, I'm taking one last question. And the question goes to Ke Kelebo. Kelebo, unmute yourself. There we go. Hello. Kelebo, how can I help you? Sir, what I did not understand is that don't we calculate in the brackets first? Okay, yes, you are correct. We do calculate in the brackets first, 100% correct. But my question to you is, seeing that we can only add like terms together, what is there inside of the brackets, my friend, that you want to add? Oh, sir, I see where I have gone wrong now, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'm so glad. All right, so that's it for the questions on this. Let me scroll down and then we do our next one. Oh, wait, let's do the brain break, guys. Mm. Okay, we already did this brain break. Let's see if there's another one waiting for us down the line. They normally do the same brain break. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. So they have already done it and then the previous class didn't. That's what was still there. Um, probably. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, assuming no, that it, they were supposed to do this It must one, be but because it's okay. yeah, it's already done. This brain break, which is the same, is already done. Uh, okay. Okay. So, okay, then guys, she might so have to change it. <laughs> to, no problem. You have depleted your brain breaks for the week, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, These they can stretch, sums. go to the loo, stretch, and then you yes, are ready to start. Yes, more than welcome to stretch, go to the loo. And for that, I will give you an extra few minutes for this question. Stretch, go to the loo, take a breath, whatever you need to do. And then you come back and you start with this question, please, guys. We have C, negative 3x, and then directly adjacent to it, a bracket, negative 2x cubed and then another square, all right? So please guys, take your five minutes, 
take your break that you need to do and figure this out for me as well. Okay, guys, if anybody's uncertain about where to start, raise your hand and I'll give you a hint. If there's no hands, I'm assuming that you guys are all doing well. Meekly. Meekly, I'm asking to unmute. Hi, <coughs> sir. Hi, Meekly, how are you? Fine, sir. Um... I was lead, sir, so I don't know. No what's... problem. No problem, me, Claire. Tell me if you look at what you can see on the screen. Don't worry about what you missed. You can go recap that on the YouTube um, recorded videos. Yes, sir. Tell me if you look at um, D that we have on the screen. And I ask you to try that on your own pen and paper. Would you know where to start? No, sir. You wouldn't know where to start to simplify this equation. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to refer you back to Bodmas. So, algebra is something that is fairly new. We have Bodmas. B -O. Are you familiar with Bodmas? Yes, I'm familiar with Bodmas, sir. Okay. So, then that's where you're going to start. We're going to do our brackets first. That means that, okay, let me just finish writing here. Brackets, order, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. subtraction. Oh. Now, because of those steps, we will be starting with this term multiplied with this term. Because we have to do brackets first, guys. So if you want to, if you know how to do all this fancy typing, then please put in the chat what we will get for this. We leave this order for next. We leave this order for our next step. Okay, this little order. Let's forget about this one for a second. And then we leave that for our next step. We first going to multiply out the brackets. Okay, guys, I'm hoping that we are all on the same page. We have a negative multiplied by a negative. We first have to take care of that. That's just going to turn into a positive. And a positive, we do not have to show. Then we have a 3 times 2. It's going to give us 6. Now we have an x times x 
cubed. That's going to give us x to the power of 4. Now... Um, sorry, teacher, you go... So, yes. So the, the, the brackets uh, to the square means we have two brackets of the same thing. So I'm just reminding everybody that. Yes. Yes. So it means we have negative 2x to the power 3 in a bracket, and again, another bracket that is negative yes. 2x to the power 3. Let me erase. Thank you, teacher Yolanda. No. I was not lying when I said I'm new to yeah. grade 8 with all of you tonight. Okay. We're going to say equal. Okay. So in that case, what I'm going to do is leave this 3x here. Goody. Okay, there we go. So we can see my screen again, guys. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then, okay, I need to do some erasing here. Okay, now we will have three, uh, draw, 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 three X bracket negative two X cubed and a bracket, oh, that looks like an X. Okay, did you Linda, are we good now? Yes, now we can multiply. Yes, we are good. Good, good. Okay, so. How are we going to multiply this, guys? Let's see. What we're going to do first, we're going to get this negative out of the way. And then we're going to work with the 3x and the first bracket. Negative multiplied by negative is going to give us positive. We don't have to show that. Then we're going to have 3 times 2 is going to give us 6. X to the power of 4. And now we still have this other bracket left. Negative 2 X cubed and now we have to multiply this bracket teach you linda let's confirm am i on the right track yes that's perfect now Excellent. we just have to keep going yeah yes so let's keep going guys now it's the same step we had the negative 3x multiplied by negative 2x now we have the, the sec the 6 multiplied by negative 2 because the 6 is positive, multiplied by the negative, we are now stuck with a negative again. 6 times 2 is 12. These x's that are multiplying, we need to add the orders together, giving us 7. Anybody not agreeing on what they are seeing? Anybody not agreeing with me? This is my final answer. Please, participants of the grade seven, uh, grade eight class, raise your hand if you do not agree with me or have any questions at this point. Nobody, no questions. Ah, there we have Cameron. Cameron, you can unmute. There we go. Cameron, what's your question? Evening, sir. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And yourself? I'm good. I just wanted to acquire with you. I did it a different way. Did you do it in a different way? 
Yes. Did I you firstly get the same said, answer? Yeah, but I firstly said um I wrote the sum out, then I kept the brackets. I did so I kept the negative three x and then next to it I put in brackets uh four x to the power of six. Then after I did that I multiplied it and then I got negative twelve x to the power of seven. Okay, that's good. As long as you get the right answer. Okay, thank you, sir. Good. All right, no further questions. I'm scrolling down. And then we'll try this big one. Are we all ready? I'm going to give you another two minutes to try this one. Let's try, guys. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go, my people. We can do this. Are we surviving? Are you guys doing it? Remember that we are here. Teacher Yuga and I are here. If you get completely stuck, um, so Zandile, you just need to simplify that. So we're doing exactly the same as what we were doing. Yes, we are just simplifying. And if you need a hint, before you get stuck seeing that this is a fraction and it looks so confusing. Look at the top and the bottom separately and try and solve them separately. See what you get if you solve on top and see what you get if you solve for the bottom by itself. And then things might just start becoming a bit more clear. I hope that those answers that we are typing there, we are also writing it on our books, right? Because teacher Hugo will help us to get to the final answer. Then you need to compare your answer and mark your work. Okay, my people. You guys are doing really, really good. We will see the final answer just now. Hey. I am slowly going to go ahead and start writing what I get. So 8x to the power of 4y plus 8x to the power of 4y. These terms are like, meaning we can simply add them together. It gives us 16 x to the power of 4 y once again why can i just simply add them together the answer is because they are like terms the x to the power of 4 y is the same for both of them so that's what i get on top adding them together i get 16 x to the power of 4 y at the bottom they ask us to multiply. And even though these terms, the x's and the y's are not all the same on both sides of the multiplication sign, because I'm multiplying, we can do them together. 4 times 4 is also going to give us 16. 
Now the x square is going to remain the same. It has no x friends to change its order. It's going to remain the same. And then we have a y. Now, I'm going to need friends in the chat to help me figure out how can I simplify this. Friends in the chat, friends in the chat. How do I simplify? This is very easy once you get used to the method. Yes, so true. Good. Now by dividing, we can basically cancel. So I can cancel out 16 and 16. It's going to give me one. That's fine. It remains the same. And then my Y is going to cancel with my Y. That's going to remain the same. And my X2 is going to have me take two away here. And then my answer is going to be X squared. Teacher Yulinda, do we agree on this? Yes, so far, yes. Um, let's just look at the Y, so Y disappeared. Yes, yes, okay. Yep, I agree. Good. Okay, now, Teacher Yulinda agrees with me, but Teacher Yulinda and I, we are not always right. I need hands if there's anybody disagreeing with me at this point in time. I need to see your hand. And if there's any questions at this point, I need to see hands so that I can do some explaining, guys. If needs be, we have a hand. Christian and Dlovu. Are you the founder of the Ndlovu Youth Choir? Very fond. Uh, uh, Hi, Christian. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you, sir? Uh, I'm sir, excellent. Thank you. Uh, sir, I wanted to ask, sir, uh, since the first layer of the topic, which uh, both have uh, X uh, thing, X4, you see, uh, yes. say, uh, don't you not add uh, the x fours together? To okay, like... that's a very, very good question, Christian. The answer is no, because the only time when we add orders is when we multiply. Okay, that's the only time when we add orders. This time I didn't add orders. I only add the coefficients, which were eight, because... First of all, that asked me only to plus and not multiply. And second of all, I can't do that because my terms are like. Okay, we add the coefficients. Only when we multiply, then we add the orders. Oh. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Oh, thank Good. you. Good. I'm so happy I could help you. Any more questions on this specific number D in front of us? Okay, Zandile, ask to unmute. There we go, Zandile, how are you doing? I'm good, and how are you? I'm so, good, so thank you. Exactly what you're saying. So we need to add, to add the like terms together to get 16. Yes, we need to add the like terms together. That's how we get 16. So. When we add together, the coefficients change and only the coefficients change, okay? Yes. The x to the power of 4y remains the same. Those re terms remain the same. And we can so add we them only because they are the same. Only the coefficient change. 8 plus 8 gives you 16. And then the rest of the term is added. The, x to the power of 4y. So we don't, we don't add unlike terms. We don't add unlike terms, no. We can only add like terms. Remember, yeah, on top. 
if I were to add unlike terms, I could have added this x to the power of 3 and the normal x and the x squared. I could have added them as well. But I didn't add them because you cannot add unlike terms. So this is my final answer. And the same year. Oh, no. Yeah, we had like terms. That's why I could add them. Y squared and Y squared is the same. That's why I could add them. But yeah, I couldn't because they're all not, they're all unlike. And yeah, I can also because they are alike. These terms are alike. I can add them together. So, so you don't, you know why I don't understand this? Why not? Because I was late. I was waiting for the electricity to come back, especially the network. So I think I should watch the video again because I don't understand. Okay, Zandile. It's a very good idea to go watch the video again. And I would highly recommend that. So then you will be much clearer on what we are doing here. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Okay, let's see. Last question on this. Cameron Vincent. Cameron, uh, I can help you. Um, thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask you, when you cancel the Y, can't, wouldn't, I'm not, of course, I had my answer as X squared Y. Yeah. Um, would, would that be right in saying that? No. X squared Y would not be right because... If you have x square y, it means you have not yet cancelled out the y, and then your aunt you would have been stuck with x. So you obviously cancelled out your some of your x's. That's why the x4 turned into x square, right? Yeah. Okay. So you cancelled out your x's. So that means there's no more x x left to cancel out but if you left the y there it means you had to leave it at the bottom as well so leaving the y there would still have left you with the y at the bottom as well you we can't just if you leave that y there the top y it means your bottom y just disappeared somehow for no reason and now it might look clearer to you we can simplify this even further and then we have, you can see that the top and the bottom has the Y in common. That's why we can take it away. And once again, we are left with X squared. So like, um, if what if, uh, for instance, the Y had a 10 at the top and the, and the bottom Y had a two, then we could divide it, right? Yes, if the Y had a 10 on top, guys, I do not want you to get confused because that would be changing the sum, first of all. But say that is the situation, just to help um, Cameron understand here. So say the Y had a 10 on top here and a 2 on top here. Then I would take away 2 here. And I would take away two year and I would be left with X squared and Y to the power of eight. Understood? Yes, 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 sir. Yes. Okay. But in the case at hand, the problem that we had, we didn't have any more Y's to stay over. We canceled out all the Y's that there were. So that's why the final answer has no Y's in. Understood? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, good. Guys, this is then the end of today's lesson.